Your hard-earned dollar doesn't buy as much as it used to. Hang on a minute, I'm going to talk about it. Hey everybody, Hill Country Prepper. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. I do appreciate the comments, keep them coming. Just want to say thanks for that. What I want to talk about in this video is what is inflation, what causes inflation, and what do you need to do now about it? Like I said, you've probably noticed that your spending dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. Now, if you've seen this in your area, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're seeing. Basically what it is, we're seeing prices at the stores have gone up. And what this is, this is known as inflation. Now in general, what inflation is, is that's basically when prices go up. Now what causes inflation? There's, there's three main things that, that can cause inflation. The first one of these is what's called cost push inflation. This is when a business has their cost to manufacture the goods increase. This could be due to imposed regulations on their industry, could be because of uh, increased cost of materials to make their product. Now these businesses are all in business to make a profit and they're not going to absorb these these additional costs. They're going to pass it on to the consumer, you and me, and that's going to be in the form of inflated price for their product. Uh, you see this, for example, in um, businesses that, that move into an area and regulations, like I said, are imposed upon them and the, the cost of their manufacturing goes up and that will be passed on. The second one that you're going to see is uh, basically demand inflation. And this is where demand for the product has increased and the more demand, uh, the higher the price for the product. An example I might use uh, would be uh, uh, the iPhone iPhone doesn't cost that much to make because they're made in China. But why they're so expensive to buy the latest and greatest iPhone is because the consumer wants it. And they buy it. And they buy a lot of them. And that drives the price up. Now if people weren't buying the iPhone, the price would go down. The next one, the next cause of inflation is when there's too much money in the economy and we're going to see this here because the current administration is working on another round a very expensive round of stimulus uh, for the economy now all this is going to do is is increase the, the the country's debt and increase the country's deficit and what it's going to do it's going to force more money into consumers pockets and basically what you're going to have is more money chasing after the products that you and I buy and that's going to drive the price of those products up. Hey, if you guys find this information helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. And if you want to get notified whenever I upload new content, press down on that notification bell and you'll get notified. Now here's what we can do about this. Right now, we are seeing prices go up. But we're kind of in... Um, what's known as the golden hour and we need to take advantage of it. Uh, prices are going to continue to go up so what we need to do right now is buy the goods not that we so much need right now but buy the goods that we use and of course I'm talking about food, I'm talking about supplies, I'm talking about equipment, um, clothing, shoes, items such as that. You know you're going to use it. You need to buy it now before the prices go up, and the prices will go up. Now, don't think that you're foolishly spending your money because these are items that you're going to use. And, it's, and it is actually a, a form of a hedge against inflation because you can buy it now at a lower cost than what it will be a month, three months, six months down the road. So use this opportunity now get out there stock up your prepper pantry get the get the clothing get the get the cleaning supplies get the equipment 
get what you need now before the prices go up. And the prices will go up and they will continue to go up because your spending dollar is not going to go as far as it, as it does right now. And you see that it's not going as far as it did a year ago. Um, a year ago, people were working, we had record jobs, and that's what makes an economy percolate along, and that's what makes a strong economy. People working, people spending what they earn, and that supports the economy. We, we're not there, that's not where we're at. The stimulus is gonna inflate the prices, so get out there, get your purchases done, and do it now. Just my thoughts, Hill Country Prepper. Thanks.